Hi, this is Gary Naxton of NorCal Oven Works, and I'm here to show you to do a video on our new modular component system for barbecuing. Modular components are nothing new, but they are new when you think about it as applied to the barbecue industry. So with that, we'll start with a single wide stand. This is part of component one, and what I'd like to do with component one, which is a very simple stand, is I'm going to add our first component to it. With that, guys, I'd like the uh, firebox. So if we take our single module wide uh, stand and add what we call component one, which comes with a simple barbecue grate. Now what we've got here is what we call component one. Component one consists of a, a single wide stand, a door, and by the way, it's a very nice slot, it's in a slot, door, ventilated door, and then it comes with <clears throat> A charcoal or wood tray. I'll call this a fuel tray, which can be placed on the lowest slide or the second slide. And if we really wanted to, we could place it in this very top slide. Okay? However, this top slide is used for something else. It's used for our gas drawers to slide in and out on. So most likely you're going to keep your fuel drawer right there. Okay, in addition to the door, the fuel rack, component one comes with a very simple grill grate. If we walk around here, we'll also see that there happens to be a chimney on this grate. Now, on this uh, module component one. So, starting here, we've, we're going to see that this there's a lot of thought been put into this component system because. I'm not feeling like cooking tonight, so I'm thinking that maybe, or I'm thinking of grilling, I'm thinking maybe we should have pizza tonight. So with that, why don't we, I have some barbecue elves here. <clears throat> and we're adding a pizza oven to component one. Go ahead and drop that down. So, we've added a pizza unit to this oven, and now I'd like to show you that we have an insert to turn that into a brick-lined floor. Right there. And then, should we choose, we have another rack that we can put on top of here. Should we like to cook something on top of, above the brick lined floor? Okay. Very heavy steel here. Close this up. And we see that we have a thermometer. This is an insulated pizza oven dome with a chimney on it there. And a thermometer that goes up to 1,000 degrees F. Beyond that, you're really getting too hot for smoking, or for, for baking pizza. We've got a handle on each side of the pizza oven. And with that, if I could have my barbecue, I've changed my mind. If I could have my barbecue elves step around this side and remove the pizza oven, 
I think maybe I might decide to grill tonight anyway. Barbecue L's are a very good thing to have. So let's see what happens if we want to barbecue tonight. We have another option, which is a simple grill cover. And now we've got a charcoal barbecue grill with the same lower grate we had and now we have an upper grate here so we can cook and we have to keep things warm or cook over indirect heat up here now I won't do this this time but I do want to point out that should you be in too much of a hurry to uh, cook over charcoal tonight what we can do is simply remove this door and we slide in a gas uh, gas burner uh, system. So <clears throat> the door removes and we can slide in the burner to cook over propane or natural gas. Again, this is as heavy as you want to lift. We've got a thermometer on the front there and again a nice little chimney. So yet another way to use our modular component system. Which brings me to another assignment for our barbecue elves. If my barbecue elves could come over here one more time, and boy am I glad that they are 21 years of age, because those of us in our 50s have a real problem doing this. Come on over here. <laughs> All right, so they're lifting it with one hand each and they're not hopping and puffing. I'm huffing and puffing just from talking. I think, boys, I think we should smoke tonight. What are you? Yeah. We'll smoke tonight. So with that, let's go ahead. They're looking at me and saying, I'm not sure I want to lift that, but it turns out that it only weighs 65 pounds. So come on. <laughs> he doesn't, doesn't buy that it's 65 pounds. And now we've added a smoker to component one of our modular component system. Again, let's look at a couple features here of this smoker. 10 gauge steel, thermometer that goes up to 475, but in reality for during normal smoking we're going to be between 100 and 225. And for faster smoking, or actually for barbecuing, we would be up in a higher range. But you're going to, for smoking, we're going to use this 100 to 225 degree temperature range. Now, nice handle, nice door. I want to point out this door hinge runs the entire length of the door so that when we open and close this door, we get a good seal and keep all that good smoke in there. And when I open up this grill, I want to show you that this grill comes standard equipped with three shelves and three trays. And I'm thinking that some ribs might go on there later tonight. But uh, again, three shelves, three trays. Let's take a look at one of the shelves or one of the trays. And this is excellent for putting your ribs in. Now I'm going to put it up here on a higher level because what I wanted to show you was traditionally we're going to put a water tray down here or we might purchase some trays from the local restaurant supply house. It turns out that you can buy from us or go to the local restaurant supply house and buy a stainless steel chafing dish that slides into our smoker. So one, you can put a water dish down here, carry water and also catch all this grease. Uh, secondly, use one of those stainless steel chafing dishes, open up a can of um, Bush Original Baked Beans, dump them into the uh, pan and cook them while you're cooking your ribs until they just start to dry out a little bit. People won't know that, you're actually, that they're actually canned baked beans 
because they'll, by then they'll taste exactly like uh, homemade beans. So, <clears throat> just to, I'm not hiding anything. This is the standard shelf that comes with the smoker. <clears throat> so let's just take a walk around the smoker. And you see here that I'm getting a nice tight fit with the, the, um, the closing mechanism going all the way up and down the grill. So we have a real tight fit there. Handle. Continue around. Well guys, if you've seen the back of one smoker, you've seen another one. <laughs> they all seem to look alike. Another handle. Just for completeness, what I'd like one of my barbecue elves to do is to run over and grab the, the gas burner that we happen to have. And barbecue elf two, take this grill. <clears throat> okay. Here, barbecue elf. He's running out of hands. Now, let's slide this in. On this tray right there and there, slide that in, and our charcoal and wood powered smoker has just become a, gra a gas smoker, or we could have put this gas element in at any time. <clears throat> now there's a selection of about six or seven gas units that fit into here. <clears throat> we have some that are optimized for boiling water, some that are meant for smoking and grilling. In this, um, they're all ventilated. The connection for the gas. So we have many, many different options here for you to smoke with. Or you can barbecue with gas, or at the drop of a hat, switch to charcoal and uh, wood. So with that, if this barbecue elf could hand me that fuel tray and remove the gas unit. I'll replace the fuel drawer. And then I'll replace <clears throat> the door <clears throat> and I think the only thing I can add to this is that we have about a hundred different options to place on top of modular component one with that good grilling